Hello besties, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Hi all, good morning. So it's 6am in the morning. And thought of vlogging today because I'm going somewhere special. I've been waiting to go here for some time now. And I didn't have time because of the things going on. But today I'm gonna do it. And I'm excited. I hope you all miss me as much as I missed you. If you're new here, I'm Taroshi. I'm 22 years old and I'm working as a recruitment consultant. If you've been watching my videos for some time now, and you might have this question. Why did she left us? Well, I've been going through a challenging time period in my life. I had to deal with my final examinations. My grandfather passed away, had a little busy time at work and lot of mental trauma. After finishing my degree unofficially, I didn't know what I want in my life. Until I'm 18 years, I was at school studying, doing exams. As everyone said, I thought life is going to be good if I studied well and get a good job. Because that is what I was told. Okay, I finished schooling got a job and started my degree, weekdays working and weekends university. My week is full and I didn't have any time to bother what is next. So after three years finally I'm done with my weekend university schedule and what is next? Do I have to start my postgraduate? Should I go on trips like everyone else? Do I have to get married? What the heck should I do? I felt I'm alone in this. I tried to distance myself from everyone. I wanted to quit YouTube because I wanted to be alone. I thought sharing my life in a social media platform like this is stupid. I got angry at myself for not knowing what to do next, for not achieving things enough. For not having a perfect body, for not having a lot of friends, for not wanting to socialize with people as others in my age does and I wanted to be someone that I'm not and I didn't know how to be that person. I cried to sleep, I pushed away everyone that would try to get closer to me, I thought being open about my feelings is stupid and weak. But at some point in my life, I realized that you have to have great courage to be open about your feelings. I felt like I had to be perfect all the time and that was exhausting. We all have scars, traumas, fears, breakout and nobody is perfect. Not even Millie Bobby Brown. For the record, I have a huge crush on her and she's perfect for me. And it's totally fine to cry, totally fine to ask for help, totally fine to get angry at yourself. So here we go. I'm being open about my feelings, being vulnerable because I believe in this little community. You have always been my little support system and I'm forever grateful for that. And thank you for everyone who messaged me and checked on me. That means a lot and that is the reason I am back strong. Just know as a fact, if you think you hate yourself, that is because you are sensitive. The feeling that everything will only become worse is just a feeling. Nothing lasts forever, so this suffering will pass. The pain will tell you that it will last forever, but it lies. Just ignore it. You will one day experience the joy that matches this pain. You will meet new people, eat amazing food you have never tried, travel to places you have never imagined going, read books you have never heard of, watch movies while enjoying an extra large bucket full of popcorns, fall in love with people you never expected and laugh till you cry. The life is waiting for you. You might be stuck somewhere for a while, but the world isn't going anywhere. Hang on and life is always worth it.
So my friends, even though I didn't upload new videos in the past few days, I've been recording all my days. So I have a lot of videos lined up for the next few days. I hope you will enjoy these videos. So please make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video and leave a comment for me to read. Because as I said, when I was going through all these challenging time periods in my life, what kept me going are those little cute comments and messages you sent me. If you like, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I have mentioned the links in the description below. Also, what I noticed is most of my viewers are my Sri Lankan friends. So just let me know if you want me to do the video in Sinhala and add English subtitles or continue the way I'm doing currently. I'm at your service, Majesty. On another note, I want to share some details about my pottery class as well. Because when I posted the status in my LinkedIn and in Instagram, a lot of people reached out to me and asked about this class. So my pottery class is located in Borgundara, Piliandala. The class I am taking an, is an individual session. And as per my knowledge, the program contains hand building, wedging, centering, wheel throwing, trimming, disc and glaze firing. They do not offer any certifications in the end. In the beginning, I joined the classes just for fun, but lately found out the other benefits. It's like a meditation, a therapy in other words. Joining these classes helped me a lot to de-stress and deal with my feelings. My teacher is also very supportive, kind and very really helpful. So if any one of you would like to join the classes, Send me a DM via LinkedIn or Instagram or Twitter or any method that I have mentioned in the description down below and I will share the contact details. So my friends, always remember, it's okay to have a bad days, it's okay to make mistakes, it's okay to take a break, no one is perfect. You are stronger than you think and asking for help is a strength, not a weakness. I hope you enjoyed this video, have a great day and have a great week until we meet for my next video. Bye bye!